and hitting. Oh, ooh, oh no! Ooh, oh, okay. Not as easy as I thought it was. Okay, well, that that's pilot error, and I would be fired. But if a good pilot was piloting this, it, he or she could have easily just kept going around and around in bombarding that station. <laughs> Preferably from a farther distance where there were fewer fewer asteroids to hit. Wow, uh, so I've taken out pretty much, I don't know, a quarter of all the weapons on the ship in that one mistake. Now, actually, let's get out of here. We have artificial gravity, so we can hop out while the ship's moving. And let's look down here. And actually, you know, the interior of the ship isn't actually compromised. We're still pretty good. We still got air. Um, well, what the hell, why not? We'll just crash the ship right now since we've already messed it up. Let's just run over here. Let's do this. And actually, I think this time I'm going to crash this ship while I'm not in third person. How's that sound? Maybe I should crash it once in third person like this and then once while I'm walking around the ship. Because somewhat recently they added the ability to uh, turn off inertial dampeners. So I could theoretically just... Um, well, let's just hit it. I could theoretically set the course and then walk around the ship. And... Oh, oh dearie. Wow, where am I? Artificial, oh, jetpack's on. Wow. Okay, so that was a collision of two bridges, basically. Um, uh, wow. Nice hit. Completely smushed my bridge. That's another structural issue with this whole ship, is the fact that the bridge is right at the front, but like I was saying, the idea of this ship is to keep it at a distance. It's not for ramming. It's not for anything close combat like my previous ship my previous warship was. Let's uh, really quickly toss in... Oh, I did that wrong. Ta toss in a new control thing. We'll put it back here. Do that, do that. Gravity's a bit funky. Let's try to reverse the ship now. There we go. That wasn't bad, the reverse. You can see we severed the uh, communications ray. Of course, it won't float away because it's a station, and stations do not have gravity or, or proper physics or anything like that. They're designed to be stationary. Uh, now let's actually get a good lineup on it and hit it again. Except for this time, I won't be in first or er, in third person. I'll be walking about the ship. And we'll see what happens when we do that. All right, I'm pretty damn sure it's lined up properly now, so we can hop in here. We'll give it full throttle. It should pretty quickly accelerate up to maximum speed, the 70.1 meters per second. Still wish that speed could be much higher, and actually it looks like we're not going to reach that before we hit it, so let's just do this in third person. And that is a good... Whoa! <laughs> wow, that took out pretty much all the docking hangar stuff. Let's let's try reversing out of here. And I see lots of bits floating away. Those bits must be from my ship and not from the station. Wow, you can see it took out a lot of the stuff down below. Dang, let's line it up really quick before we start reversing again. Uh, like this there we go I'm not sure if we still have artificial gravity we do good so now I can hit X I can get us start to accelerate or I can get us accelerating backwards we're lined up pretty damn good uh, let's get us going at what do you say 10 meters per second there we go let's disable inertial dampeners now we can get out of here and the ship will keep moving and we can come down here there's no proper way to the lower floor to check out the damage but we can come over here and just cut a hole in it and uh, hop down. There we go. Of course, if I turn on my jetpacks, uh, the game doesn't currently keep you... Like, it doesn't just say, okay, your jetpacks are additively adding to your already existing speed from being on the ship. Basically, if I turn them on, I just drift as if I'm not attached to anything. So that's why I didn't turn them on to get down here. And wow, you can see uh, the sleeping area. Notably ripped open. The... Uh, Mess hall, completely gone. Some beautiful damage here. Uh, let's head back upstairs now. And to do that, actually, we're probably going to have to do something a bit funky. Uh, I think that'll do. I can do this, and... Yeah, you can see now I'm not pushing anything. It's just a ship moving past me as I float in stationary... Or, er, while I float in a single unmoving spot in space. So, there we go. I'll just let this keep reversing, but I want to make sure we get the proper speed this time. Alright, I think that should be far enough back now. So let's kill the, turn the inertial dampeners back on. The ship will auto-stop. And now we can do full forward. 
and this time hopefully it'll do some serious impact on that station and here we go we're gaining speed like crazy now and what do you say even if we don't reach that point at oh well now we reached it okay so inertial damper is off let's get out of here and let's actually watch the crash from the inside i'm gonna try to get back I put myself slightly behind some. Oh, you can see the gaining gain. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, okay. Oh! Dang! That's a strange sight to suddenly see nothing in front of you. Except, at least nothing of the ship you're in. Wow! Okay, did I get knocked forward or did it really destroy that much of the ship? Dang! Uh, let's get out of here. What? Whoa, okay, so the station has lost the overlooking area. No, this was the overlooking area right here. No, that was the overlooking area. That's the main center of the hallway. That is the mess hall. Uh, of course, we already erected the control station, or control room, earlier. Let's fly in there really quickly. <clears throat> Pardon me, my throat's getting... Sorry about that. Uh, fly in here, we can turn this off. The gravity generator on the ship is clearly still working because it's pushing us at a funky angle, so we can... Gonna have to jetpack around in here, wow. Uh, everything over here looks pretty damn good. Sleeping area is still intact. Of course, this room will be damaged. Yep, wow. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was a crack. Um, wow, that's pretty notable. Let's fly out here and... Dang. Okay, so it just pushed this... Wow, I think that's part of... I think that... Yeah, I think that's part of the actual ship that's been torn off and flung in here somehow. Wow, a lot of damage. That's funny to see the door, nothing around it except for the top. Uh, over here, reactors and stuff, still all good. This hallway connecting stuff is toast. Uh, hmm, our little buggy or whatever is... It's seen better days. It's been beaten up a bit. Let's actually really quickly crash it just to get rid of it. Why not? Can't hurt. So let's fly it out, get a good view at it. It looks sort of like an insect, and then just do this. I said, and then just do this. Dang it, it doesn't want to stop going in other directions. I want to sort of get a strafing hit on this ship. There we go, that should be good. Oh, well, it wasn't quite the strafing hit I wanted. And it sort of just hit and flung away itself in the space. But, uh, we did a dent. We did a dent. Um, whoa. Apparently the ship is still trying to destroy stuff. Uh, let's do one more crash and then call it that. Uh, call it quits. Hey, how about that? Alrighty, get us back up to speed again, do a little course correction, since when I was originally setting out, I still had the inertial dampeners off. And I think, there we go, that should be pretty good. Let's turn them off again, let's go into this view, and let's watch another crash from the inside, since it's something I haven't done much of. Oh, wow, you can see that threw us forward a bit, but the ship seems to be relatively intact this time, compared to last time. Oof. Let's get in here really quickly, see what we did. And we seem to have... I can't actually tell where we hit. We probably hit the station, yep. We definitely hit the station, we did some damage there. Uh, let's just ram it again really quickly while we're here. How about that? Let's see if we can just get rid of the whole station. Looks like the station's lights and power are still on somehow, even though I seem to have gone through most of it. Jeez, in a second, this ship won't have any weapons. That station is sturdy. Sure, anybody on board would surely be dead, but... The station somehow survived all the way to the point where I'm now floating free. Brilliant. Oh, and now falling. Whoa, where am I? Um, okay, so this is the bottom of the ship. Uh, I can still resurrect in here, but I hope you have a spacesuit on when you do, because, uh, yeah, space. Um, oh, this is part of the ship. All right. Okay, I'm starting to make sense out of this. Um, yeah, wow. So there's part of the uh, top of the station. Uh, this looks like part of the station has been bent upwards. Actually, no, no, it hasn't. We crashed it from a below angle. Okay, right. Huh, what else do we have here? Can we look? I really want to look at the power supply of the station and see what that looks like because I'm really quite surprised it's still working. And I think it should be somewhere in here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Not really any easy way to get in there, though. But, wow, imagine that. All the generators are still working, and the gravity generator itself. That is a surprise. 
Um, I think I'm going to call it there since there's not much left to the livable area of either of these things. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks again for over a thousand subscribers. Um, hopefully soon the uh, guys making this game will allow it to use more than uh, 800 megabytes of RAM. And I'll actually be able to finish my mega transport ship and cathedral ships. And the large cube, I might be able to finish that actually, uh, even if they don't. But I've started to get a bit of lag in that, and that is very frustrating. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching. Thank you again, those of you who subscribed and those who may subscribe after watching this. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.